testing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, kids, if you want to gather around, we're about to go through the official opening. So please come over because part of the official opening is we're actually going to turn on the spray part. So I'll just wait for everybody to come over. And our mayor's going to uh, go through this official ceremony. A little bit of rain, but don't worry about it. There's a little gap there. Yeah, yeah and you're going to get wet anyway. That's exactly right. Okay. Come on over, kids. So good morning, everyone to the official opening of the Greenacre Splash Park and I'd go as far as to say an adventure playground as well. It, it deserves that because that is an amazing facility over there. My name's Graham Beattie, I'm the Director of Community Services uh, for Canterbury Bankstown uh, Council. Just got a couple of housekeeping things to uh, go through. So you, the toilets are uh, over there uh, in that pavilion there. We have accessible toilets in uh, this pavilion here and change rooms. Um, and uh, there was also for the day there's some special things like the coffee cart and the padsto sausage sizzle. Okay, but I'll make some more, more uh, details about that later on. So I'm your MC. So the first thing I'd like to do today is introduce Auntie Lynn to, uh, for a welcome to country, followed by Matthew Doyle for a smoking ceremony. So Auntie Lynn. Good morning. Well, my name is Dani Lyra. Welcome to all people. I pay my respects to our ancestors and all the elders for their keeping of our history and cultural practice, even though they were not allowed to by white man's rule. This land here that you're on is covered the plain of the Darug Nation. On this land, they fished down on the Georges River and they followed and hunted the animals all around here for food and clothing. It was lush with vegetation, trees and fruits. We, the Derek born of this land, born of the spirits, have walked this country since the dreamer. Derek territory encompasses both land and sea, from Darribin, the Hawkesbury in the north, to Palmyra, Georges in the south from the Blue Mountains to the Tasman Sea. A small point of history. Everyone talks about first contact, which occurred at Botany, but the second was actually here at Bankstown. Banks decided to explore Kaima and found the Garrison Point, where they found a perfect land spot for big birds. Here they realized they could bring settlers supplies and animals up on the joint on barges and not have to fight through the dense scrub. So this is what they did and Bankstown was born. Our people, the Aboriginal people, were forced away from the Georges River from the land they had known and cared for. Now I'd like to share something with, to, with you. It's called the Spiritual Song of the Aboriginals. I am the child of the dream time, part of this land like the gold gum tree. I am the river, softly singing, chanting our songs on the way to the sea. My spirit is the dust devils, mirages that dance on the plains. I am the snow, the wind and the falling rain. I am part of the rocks and the red desert plains. Red as the dust that flows in my veins. I am the eagle, crow and snake that glides through the rainforest that clings to the mountain's side. I awakened here when earth was new. There was emu, wombat and kangaroo. No other man of a different hue. I am this land and this land is me. I am Australian. Time you bulu man king man union for you always was and always will be our land. Or my teacher I dayan yan jangali bulu nagani. Welcome to our land, Derek Land, and thank you for working with me and strengthening my dream.
Thank you very much, Arnold Lynn. We've now got the smoking ceremony, so Matthew Doyle is just going to walk around amongst you um, with uh, some smoke and some eucalyptus leaves. So, over to Matthew. So I believe we're warding off the bad spirits and welcoming the good spirits. A good way to start the weekend. Okay, I might let Matthew finish moving around with the smoking ceremony, but it's now my honour to introduce the Mayor of Canterbury Bankstown Council, Councillor Cal Aspore. Thank you, Graham, and good morning, everyone, and thank you all for coming here this morning for this very, very special event. Can I begin by acknowledging, acknowledging the traditional owners of the land upon which we meet, paying respects to elders past, present, and emerging, and of course, thank Auntie Lynn for her welcome to country, as well as Uncle Matt Doyle, who's uh, walking around, warding off the evil spirits and making sure that we have good spirits here at Greenacre Splash Park. Well, this park has been a long time coming. We have at council, and my councillor colleagues are here, councillor Bilal Al Hayek and councillor George Zakia. We have for a long time been trying to get this. Greenacre Splash Park up and running. We've had a lot of challenges in, come before us, including COVID and other things, but I'm so happy that the day is finally here today. Because when I was a kid growing up in Greenacre, I had a piece of plastic, a bit of soap and a hose. That's how I enjoyed my summer afternoons. And haven't we come a long way where we have now this amazing Greenacre Splash Park, the first of its kind in our city. And also, we have the four mega bucket dump splash things over there. Now, that's the first of its kind in the country. There's no other park in Australia that has those mega dump buckets. So I want all our kids to make sure they enjoy it. I want you all to enjoy it. But it's not only a splash park. It's a park where we could use this place all year round because we have this wonderful dry park over there with wonderful equipment and playground equipment for all our kids to come and enjoy. But it's not just for kids, it's for us adults and parents as well. We can go down there, sit down and know that our kids are safe here enjoying the, the water park, the adventure park and enjoying living here in Greenacre in Canterbury Bankstown. And I know that all of our kids, and it's wonderful to see you all here today, are going to enjoy this place. Tell your friends. Tell your family, tell your friends when you go back to school that you were here for the opening of the Greenacre Splash Park and that this is a place that's going to be here for generations to come for all of you to enjoy, but we've got to look after it. We've got to make sure that we look after it so we can all enjoy it um, throughout the summer months and through the winter months here at the Dry Park. So please, everybody, enjoy the day. We've got, we've got a coffee cart there, we've got some hot dogs from Rotary, I'd like to thank you all for supporting Council 
in achieving this wonderful milestone. And in a few seconds, I'm going to be pressing the button, and I'd like as many kids as possible to come and join me to press the button to officially launch the Green Acre Splash Bowl. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. But there's one important thing we've got to do before we do that button. And kids, you have a look at this. This is the biggest pair of scissors you've ever seen. This is like something out of Harry Potter. Okay, Mr. Mayor, over to you. Everybody, come on. One, two, three. Yay! Well done. All right, now I'll take those safely away, Mr. Mayor. If you'd like to go over to the button that has never been pushed before. Okay. The Mayor's asked me to do a countdown to ten. All right, parents, I'd be careful on that wet area if it is wet. So, Mr. Mayor, are we ready for the countdown? So, do you see? One, two, the other way, the other way. Oh, my God. 